Band and Spoken Reasons. Here we go. You want to tell the people why we never did another video? Five years. I'm tired of being merciful. Nick, I know this is wild style, but this one is personal. Oh! oh. Fuck your Y'all remember asking all them questions? Yeah. You know it came with a big check until he snatched it from me. Then he went missing and started acting funny. Uh -huh. He did a movie doing comedy, you know, acting funny. Uh -huh. To tell the truth, Nick, I really want to smack this dummy. Uh -huh. But you telling me to chill, questions with small change, I'm still spending she ratchet money. Now listen, act stupid. I know you're mad clueless. The only reason why you on this show because my name was attached to it. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna put you in your place. Your most viewed video shows nothing but my face. So tell the people right now before I get mad and start to rise. You got a chance to clear your name right now. Apologize. We need some milk. Keep that same energy. What's up, YouTube? Blair, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's your girl, Talk Keeping 95. I'm back with another video. And now. My friend just called me. He told me spoken reasons and Emmanuel Hudson got some beef. If y'all don't know who that is, those are the two people that did. Listen, bro. I understand what you're saying. But I'm going to help them understand what you're saying. Basically, this how the girl be. Where? Who? You been where? Where who? That was like five years ago, right? So, yeah, at first I'm thinking they cousins. Like, when I first saw the video, I think one of their videos, I thought they was cousins and everything. Because, you know, I was on YouTube six years ago. And they, they was making videos when I was making videos. But I just wasn't consistent like them. But, I mean, they was good together. I mean, they did 21 questions. Why are you asking all them questions? Asking all them questions, making statements. I even did a little clip of me doing that on TikTok. But anyway, now back to the video. You got um, spoken reasons talking about I'm the big Draco. All this, and you got uh, Emmanuel Hudson called him out on Wild and Out, yo. He called him out like he was playing no games, no games. He was just on the stage, like and he. It, it felt like he just. Spit out everything he held in his heart. You feel me? Watching that video, it seemed like he had he held so much in. And as a person, we don't want to never ever ever let little things, little petty things, get to us. We go, like, okay, whatever. I'm move on from how you did me wrong, and I'ma just you know keep it stepping. And that's what I think happens in life when people do us wrong. We try to you know move on about it, like you know what? Okay, you did me wrong, whatever. I'm a woman, I'm a man, I'm going to just keep on moving. You know what I mean? A lot of people that are not good in this world, and a lot of people can do you wrong. But at the end of the day, we keep stepping and we keep moving on. But it seems like Emmanuel Hudson was like, okay, you got spoken reasons coming to the show? I bet. Got his little pen and paper right now. Everything he want to say, like he, he going in on him. And once they two together... He did it. He went in on. He didn't do anything. Like, he was just standing there, like. I guess he was okay. What I think? Okay, this is what I think. I think he was shocked. I really do. I I don't think he, I because I feel like they ended on good terms. You know, six years ago, he think they put it past them, so they ended on good terms, right? And when well, you just like something that I don't expect, I'm like, dang. I'm writing down things I want to say to the other members, not you, Emmanuel. We came up together, and that's what I think what he was thinking. But now, when he see that Emmanuel spit his heart out to him, bro, you got spoken reasons. Like, he made a whole rant video about Emmanuel Hudson. He like, I put you on this, man. I flew you out to Florida. Man, stop playing with me. Stop doing all this. People like, where's all that energy coming from? Why you didn't do that energy when you was on the stage? He like, that's not my platform. This my platform. It's just a show. I mean, you, I mean, after he said something, then you say something back. Like the stuff that you said in your video, you probably could have said that back to him. Instead, you just held the stuff in. Like, that's not my platform. That's not my platform. And, okay, so it's two sides that I think about this. Okay, so one side, I'm thinking like, okay, he was just like, you know what? I'm going to be a big person about it. 
you know, I'm just, I'm going to be, you know, wiser. I'm older now. I'm not finna, you know, I'm not with all the beef. That's, that's one side that I think Spoken Reasons was talking about. But then as he going home, he like, man, I did a lot of things for this guy, man. What, what are you talking about? I'm, man, I'm, I'm finna go in, man. I ain't finna let nobody do that to me. And that's what I think. And then he made that video. But then on the other side, I'm thinking he just, the, you know, just like, dang. And like, he was shocked. So he had nothing to say. He just shocked. So then, now he like, now he in a car driving like, okay, okay. I'm going to pull out all this business. And that's what I think happened. But at the end of the day, I'm not on anybody's side. But that's just my thoughts on how things go. Because when you grow up with somebody, you know, things change. I mean, people change in the world. Like, a lot of people, you not you won't be surrounded by. Like, five years ago, I'm not surrounded by the same people. Two years ago, I'm not surrounded by the same people two years ago. And that's what I think. You just grow or either you grow you guys just move on from from things like maybe that person went to college and you know you know Aaliyah you know she made a song I love Aaliyah and rest in peace Aaliyah but she made one of them songs and the, I felt that song you feel me because I like I had a friend we was close like this and then next thing you know we go to college and pff, things change things change people change so that he said that he even said in this video five or six years ago you know after that um he didn't pay his cut of money. Like, I, okay, so what I think, six years ago, YouTubers would, let me get closer. Six years ago, YouTubers were not getting paid, right? Um, Because I used to like YouTube. I was a big fan of YouTube. That was my passion. I We didn't get paid. I just put out a video, no pay. We just make videos for fun, right? Fast forward five years later, they got commercials on the video and they got people, you know, they, they paying YouTubers now. So, um... So what I think was, okay, they weren't getting paid at first, but because he had so many views, YouTube, uh, he, he he had his videos monetized, so now he's getting paid. And so, okay, he like, hey, where my money at? And then he like, you already made your money. This is my platform. What are you talking about? So what I will say is that if y'all two were in the same video together, then the money should have been split. That's all I got to say. The money, I mean, if I have someone, like a famous person in my video, and we do a video, and I get a lot of views, or I'm, that person coming, I per, I go on that person's video, and they get a lot of views, then we, it's like we working together. Like, you didn't do this on your own. You didn't make the video on your own. We, I was in a video with you. We should split some type of money, something, you feel me? Like, but, you know, a video was five years ago and they weren't getting paid. They were just doing it for fun. Now, fast forward five years later, Emmanuel comes, where's my money? And he's like, what are you talking about? You already made your money off this. I got my own platform. You got your own platform. What? I'm from Florida. I don't do, you don't know how we get down. So that's what I think um, Spoken Reasons was, uh, That that's, that's what was on his mind. You know, you got monetized. I got monetized. I got my money from the video. You got your money from the video. Boom. But Emmanuel didn't like that. I feel like Emmanuel part was like, I was on your video, bro. You got paid, so we should split our money. I made money off mine too. Let's, let's you know, share. Sharing is caring. That's what I think Emmanuel was about. But Spoken Reason wasn't hearing that. Fast forward, he got his own stuff. And he got his own platform. They split up. They weren't talking no more. I'm not going to be in your video. He hit him up. Yo, you want to make this video together? Nah, I'm good, bro. So, you know, five years later, they split up, go apart, friendship, gone. And then Emmanuel, he go off and he starts, you know, dressing up like a drag queen. And if that's his way of making money, then let him do that. I mean, he just, he just want to, like I said before, you two beef is when you want to put somebody else down, but then that person want to put you down and it's just boom, 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 boom. But at the same time. Spoken reasons is getting views on his platform now, because now I didn't, I didn't, I haven't heard about spoken reasons. I haven't heard all I know is Emmanuel Hudson is now on Wild and Out, and I haven't really saw anything of spoken reasons, no videos and nothing. So now, now that it's beef, he's gaining, he's gaining something now. But yeah, it's Tony P95 with another reaction video, and yeah, I mean.
I just want to say my quick thoughts about that. And what I think is that well, uh, I'm not on anyone's side, but the situation from them making videos together could have got probably got handled better and maybe spoken reasons. You know, he probably should have shared what they both made together. Yeah. All right. Peace.